Mastering Tips Chain Setup There are no fundamental rules for the order you might want to lay down processors in the T-Rax 3 chain. You can start analyzing the T-Rax factory presets to discover how typical mastering chains are done and start experimenting with your own setups later on. Something that should always be considered as a rule is placing a finalization processor like the T-Rax 3 brick wall limiter or the T-Rax classic multiband limiter at the very end of the chain. This will allow you to keep the final level of your master under control. Typically, equalizers are placed before dynamics, but this is not an absolute rule by any means. Simple Mastering Chain This is a great chain to start with. It includes the Classic T-Rax EQ, Classic T-Rax Compressor, Classic T-Rax Limiter, and at the end of the chain, the Classic T-Rax Clipper. For rock, pop, etc., start with 2 dB of compression in the compressor, another 1 to 2 in the limiter, and maybe a few dBs of gain in the clipper as well. For a more straight sound that is closer to the original, you can remove the multiband limiter from this chain and just use the EQ, compressor, and clipper. Advanced Mastering Chain the new high-end processors included in T-Rax 3, like the Vintage Compressor Model 670, the Linear Phase Equalizer, the Brick Wall Limiter, the Opto Compressor, and the EQ1A Tube Vintage Program EQ, allow the highest versatility during mastering. Think of these modules as tools in your gear arsenal to be chosen depending on the music you're working on, your taste, or other factors. This is a very good starting chain for stereo mastering with T-Rax 3's new processors if you want an extremely transparent and pure processing path. It includes the linear phase equalizer, opto compressor, and brick wall peak limiter. It's a very transparent chain that will add very little coloration and will respect the original nuances and timbre characteristics of the music as much as possible, while giving you all the tools to master the music properly. Experiment with more vintage characterized sounds and add thickness and warmth like with this chain that includes the linear phase equalizer, vintage compressor model 670, vintage program EQ1A, and the brick wall limiter at the end that could eventually be replaced by the classic T-Rax clipper. Two compressors. You can use two compressors on the chain if you want to give more consistency to levels without having to push one single compressor too much. To do that, we suggest you use a vintage compressor model 670 with a very slow time constant, like 3 or 4, and apply a maximum of 2 dB of compression. Follow this with an opto compressor set to respond very quickly, with short attack and release time, and 1 or 2 dB of compression. Parallel Compression You may like the character and musical feel that a compressor can give when it's pushed heavily but it can be too much for mastering, resulting in an overcompressed, somewhat lifeless track. A good trick in this case is to insert a compressor in parallel with a non-compressing device or another compressor set to attenuate way less, or nothing at all. Use, for example, slot 1A and 1B for two compressors, one set to compress 5 or 6 dB, the other set to compress 0.5 dB max. We suggest you always use linear phase equalization when you have to boost the low end in a mix that is already very dense, or when you need to tweak very sensitive mid-range zones where lots of instruments are overlapping with vocals.